All right, as you heard, when uh, Fox News can now confirm Scott Walker, the prohibited favorite, a little more than six weeks ago in Iowa, his neighboring state where he was old but greeted as a favorite son and the runaway favorite to early on win that state is about to step out of this presidential race. He's going to spell it all out about an hour and 45 minutes from now in Madison, Wisconsin, the scene of so many battles. He has had with Democrats and particularly unions in that state three times he faced voters when he first got elected, when he was uh, triumphed at a recall election, and then when he was outright re-elected. Uh, despite that and the crossover appeal uh, with his battles that had a sort of national resonance, uh, he just could not raise the money after a weak debate performance, at least in that opening Fox debate, or maybe that he was lost in the sauce or lost some passion. Who's to judge? And, and right now at this point, it's just almost fact that uh, he's gone. Who benefits from that is anyone's guess. Former Reagan political director Ed Rollins was the first to muse on this with me now on the phone. What do you make of what brought us to this point? What brought him to this point, Ed? You know, I, I don't think you can underestimate the power of the debates. Uh, and and our, the stars in our party in the last couple of years have been the governors. We have some extraordinary governors that all the first governors and, and we led several of them in this race. And most people thought one of them would emerge, uh, whether it was Perry, whether it was Kasich, whether it was uh, uh, Governor Walker, who obviously was a, was a leader in, in Iowa. Uh, but unfortunately, in the debate, it, it, they have become, it's sort of become a Trump show, and it's sort of a salesmanship type program as opposed to standing up there and saying, here's what I've done in my state, and here's why I can do it in Washington. And I think to a certain extent, we have this large segment of, of Republican voters who basically say, if you've been part of the establishment, whether you've been a governor or a senator, which traditionally has been a, an area of strength, uh, you're, you're part of the problem. We're not, we're not going to support you. I, I think Governor Walker, who's been through some extraordinary battles in the state, been a great governor, uh, I think had trouble raising money, had a large staff in Madison, Wisconsin, not such a large staff in Iowa. And I think if he could have stayed, it would have been a traditional kind of a campaign where he could have been a real contender in Iowa then obviously he could have gone on and been, been viable. But I think, uh, I think you're now going to see a bunch of these governors who, uh, who really can't, uh, can't raise the money and, and, and put the organization together. All right, right so now. now we have, to your point, Rick Perry, and now after today, Scott Walker. Who's next? Well, I think Bobby Jindal's having trouble. I think, obviously, Christie's having trouble. Uh, uh, Casey, who I, who I personally have been a friend of for a long time, is having a hard time. He's at 2 or 3% in the poll. Uh, you know, and so if you just can't move to that, top tier, you know, at least eight or nine percent, you're, you're, you're just going to have a hard time convincing big donors uh, to, to give you the resources that you need. Uh, you know, Governor Huck could be still at six or seven, but he's kind of been flat. He's got a lot of attention. He ran second you know, six years ago. But I think it's just a, it's a very different environment than we're traditionally uh, used to. And I think the governors who have great stories to tell, we're sort of the party, we're very proud of what they've done, uh, just are losing out in this, in this cycle. Ed Rollins, thank you very, very much. Uh, keep in mind that, that, that Scott Walker, it wasn't as if he didn't have money, that after the first debate, the, the new money stopped coming in. So there's no assurance that once you have money that you'll always keep it or be able to add to it. That undid him maybe a weak debate performance, maybe a crowded field where he couldn't stand out. It's been something that other candidates have complained about, this fixation on Donald Trump and Carly Fiorina. He was the, uh, the short end of the stick there and the latest to say that's it.